and uh, we'll get this pistol run out of the way. We see a lot of masks like triple armor buy, maybe quad armor from T's, just to see how they rush out. And uh, Paradox, they'll go for the one supporting the aid and then one kit. It's uh, pretty pretty standard stuff when you see your pistol rounds come out. And I like actually seeing who prefers P2Ks and who prefers the USPs because I've seen one too many a USP tap just decimate uh, pushes coming on out there. And Silence actually going for a really aggressive mid push too. Yeah, he's been spotted, and he's not falling off of it. It's because he's got two mates coming behind him, but here comes Elevate and Lower B, so Justin's in a tough Ooh, spot. Nice. He does a backup on Cat. He gets one headshot with it, and they're still holding strong, and there's Storm following as well, so three. Lower B is completely eliminated. Justin with three kills there. A great pistol round, but meanwhile, the long push gets eliminated. That's going to give an avenue of attack for Elevate here. So Slug and Rush are going to make their way to try to get across here. This is going to be very difficult. No smoke, so they have that one nade they can throw out, which actually they throw out, so it's the platform there. But Slug gets the headshot onto Mainline, and now Rush is dueling it up against two, and he just flicks up the cat. He gets a huge kill onto Justin, and now he's going to plant for that cat position, fanatic S style, and it's all up to uh, the man in uh, Stray Stray Orb, or Robert, his name is backwards. Uh, to push up here. He's on ramp. Elevate know where he is right now. They're gonna peek back out here. Slug gets the headshot and uh, he's filling in pretty well already. Starts that off with the 3k. Yeah, very scary situation and uh, just, I mean, they started out so well, eliminating that lower B attack and then and then Elevate takes long, but you could see Paradox kind of those last three players were all so very split up. It almost would have been smarter, I think, for the, the player that got naded who was trying to push into the bomb site to just, you know, either stay quad box or stay catwalk and just stay a little bit more protected. Because you can let them into the site and then your teammates can flank from so many different angles, you can just keep them trapped there. Fortunately, and he gets taken out, so all Justin's hard work just goes to waste. Yeah, that was very unfortunate for him. So we got the MAC-10s coming across the board, some AKs and Galils, and... Alright, they leave, they let themselves, uh, Stribor alone, and Desi, actually with a sick shot, gets a wallbang headshot with the Justin, then Rush just opens up in this B-bomb site, and this should be a quick and easy just win for the side of Elevate. There's that scout potential from, uh, Ellie, but I don't think he's gonna get too much done with this. He already gets tagged down to 30, they nade spam out CT, and yeah, they're just gonna look to save these. They bought head armor too, so that'd be a pretty big, uh, loss if they end up losing this round. Seeing us now, they'll be forced onto the hard eco. Anyway, next one. Yeah, there, there's no way Ellie saves a scout. They're gonna hunt him uh -huh. down. There's Rush taking him out, and that's the first damage done. And now just the last two players. No reason to even really hunt these guys. Don't don't risk losing those guns you got. Elevate. So they're gonna they're gonna play far back. They get the scout out of their hands, and that's a really nice anti eco round for them. Not losing a single member, not taking any economical damage. And I think this will be pretty similar to what we see out of Elevate. Is kind of how they're just muscling their way into map yep. control, especially without XP3, who's their in-game leader, who's still over in Europe. And actually, they do find mainline. Storm takes them out with the Mac 10. So just another kill, another $600 goes to him, but yeah, even even towards long, because we talked about Roka, that's what he likes to do come gun rounds, he likes to get those picks out there at long, so I, I just think they're going to muscle their way, they're not going to do anything too tactical. Just use the raw aiming power, which they have, and they're feeling confident about taking it over Paradox right now, so <laughs> already Ellie's getting tagged up a bit, but... Maybe, just maybe they could try to get something in response, but no, Roka, there it is! The King of Long gets two quick headshots, and this round is just done. I don't, I don't see uh, Robert doing too much here. It's, they're just going to get the bomb play, get themselves some cash, and this next round's all important for Paradox now, as they'll be buying up. That was that was pretty quick play by Roka, though. He just pushed out immediately against those two headshots. <laughs> that's, that's just a taste of things to come. Yeah, they're they're going to be in some trouble here, I think, with Roka coming out long like that. So they're, they're going to have to really... I mean, we've seen teams like CLG even struggle to contain it. Even when they have two or three members there, Elevate has just gotten this long hold down in North America against North American teams very, very well. Uh, and it's going to be very tough for them to counter. Especially now, they, they bought second round. They didn't get anything from it. and They don't get to put an op in their hands. And you can see they have no head armor. Uh, they don't even have kits behind them. I, I think El Ellie actually decides to buy up. He does have enough money for a kit. So he's got a FAMAS, and he had to go that route if he wanted the kit. Oh, jeez. No head armor. Even though it's against AKs, it doesn't really matter. And but... Roka's got this long spawn, so oh, here we are seeing him do it. He's going to peek out. Let's see what happens. Full blind, actually. Silence forced to jump away, but Roka goes down. A three-man hold is what it takes, apparently, to stop Roka from peeking and getting out successfully. So, all right. They start off with a bit of an advantage. Yeah, he actually he had him blind. He just misses uh, misses first shot. And on the re-peek, he goes down. So we got four, actually, up towards mid and one in lower tunnels. Elevate just covering their angles right now. Could go for a mid to B execute. They smoke off CT. They actually end up flashing their way through, and they're going to be going for it. Pushing up, though, but they got a crossfire from CT as Justin finds one quick frag. Ellie's trying to hold off one. He trades his life. A good trade for them. And now two on four. They're going for this take. There's that man over at car. That's Robert. He's looking for a kill. Storm turns around. They light him up, just uh, laying into him. So now three on two, the retakes there, and Elevator in a good position to bring this one back in, but Paradox, the man advantage is on their side, and they have one coming up from Tunnel here. Justin needs to get this kill, does get it out of Storm, 
Now the last man on plat. Desi, are you nuts? Is going to be the question people are going to ask. He gets one, a self flash on his main line, and okay. They get the defuse, and Paradox pick up that first gun round. Yeah, that, that, that all came down to that Hall's flank. Whoever won that battle, that team was more than likely going to win the round. So a nice win on, on, the, on the tunnel's flank from, uh, I believe that was Silent. And, uh, no, that was not Justin. That. Was that Justin? Yeah. In tunnels? Okay. But yeah, that's that's kind of I mean, you see once once Roka fails to get that that hit, they they don't even really take it slow. They just kind of bust out mid and try and uh, bully their way into that B bomb site. They go a little bit early before that smoke pops, which allows one to get sprayed down. So that was kind of a little bit of a, a, a goof. But right. now Desi's Desi's turn to go for the long peek. Silence did get full blinded up there, and he's gonna actually beat Desi. That wasn't Roka. I thought it was Roka's gonna go for the second peek though. He pop flashes his way. And he's gonna go for the second one, a little underhand toss. He's gonna blind them, they turn around, they were spot with a nade. So he's gonna back off, but... Alright, again, they take this long advantage, they take that initial frag and elevate. Gotta be a little careful now about their long pushes, because it hasn't worked two times in a row now. And with a quick molly out mid, Justin smoked off once again. I don't really see them looking for a bum rush out mid, seeing as how Justin was already ready in CT last time. I know, but they do have Rush out there, and they're putting three in upper B, so Rush is just trying to take some attention. The attack's going to come from upper B. He's got two players concentrated on mid, so it's only Strebber behind this smoke, and they're not walking through it wisely enough, oh, and nice. there goes Rush down in mid, so it's going to be all up to this to, uh, to Strebber with this one-on-three hold here at the, at the platform. Yeah, that was a sick shot by Ellie. Take down the headshot box player, and here we go. They're walking and inching their way up. Noise has been made, and there's no smokes or anything to stop, so there they go. Just go right into the firing range. Ellie picks up one. He actually gets a double there. He's on a triple for now. Could try to end this round with a possible quad, but it looks like these two gun rounds working perfectly for the uh, Paradox side. Yeah, and he gets his quad at the end of the round. Yeah, well, they're doing a very, very good job of shutting down that, that long attack from, from Elevate at the moment. Very good job of taking that away from these first two gun rounds, and they're going to have to keep that up through the entire half to keep having success. And it seems that Elevate are going to be forcing it up. I guess, he, why not? Tech 9 out for Slug, and that's about it. Everybody else getting full nades and AKs, or getting whatever nades they can. And uh, maybe they're going to go back to the, the straight up just rush strategy. They seem to have a good spawn for it right now as they just barrel their way into the tunnels, but not go for any kind of quick peek. They get smoked off, and we're back at a reset point, and they're going to look for their own picks, but Paradox have been good. They've been pretty diligent at not uh, going for any kind of quick peeks or quick pushes. Yeah, and Desi actually gets uh, tries to spray through the smoke and just find something lucky, and, and kind of for his trouble, he gets dinked down to yep. 11 HP, so that's a little unfortunate for him, but now moving up Catwalk, it looks like, and there is only one player inside the A bomb site that's Silent, who's going to have a lot of work to do. He's playing behind the smoke at the moment. If he mistimes this and the smoke gets extinguished, he can be in a lot of trouble. He's looking out towards that corner. He's going to throw a nade out. Actually, dinks Roka with the nade, and it blows up on his head. So, uh... Getting a little lucky there. I believe they heard that thing too, so they gotta read this cat play to come up. The bomb's already inching its way up, and they're starting to walk in. Flashbangs come out, and what do we got? Rush is gonna lead the charge with Roka here. They're the big entry fraggers. Can they get this? Justin on car too. Going for a really sick angle. Can he hold it? Nope, he can't. Rush is be able to take down two. Just going straight in, keeping true to his name, and all right. They plant this bomb at A, and even have a man waiting on the flank. Desi paying back Ellie. But yeah, this round should be done as Robert's the last man standing. Yeah, great entry frags from Rush. That's the power of, of Elevate with, with you know, Rush, Desi, and, and Roka. Just three players who at any point can crack open a bomb site and nicely handled by Elevate there. And, and part of that was it was a great setup for Paradox, but they haven't picked up an AWP yet, so that player over at Car cannot nearly be as effective as he would like to be. You know, if they have an op there, that strategy with all the depleted utility that Elevate had, that op gets, or that, that track gets shut down, so not able to pick that up quite yet in this half, and, and they get punished for it. So Robert's going to try to save this M4 and should be successful at it as, you know, Elevate broke, kind of kind of messed their economy up a little bit with the Force Buy, but they were lucky enough to win the rounds, and that'll put it at a 4-2. to two. So not bad, but Paradox still, they can buy up this round, they'll be fine, and maybe we see the first AWP of the game? Did we get that? Are we going to see Paradox getting that? Is the question. Looks, you know, it looks like they're going to save here. They buy up some Deagles and a P250. Mm -hmm. They get some armor with those pistols to kind of try and equalize Deagles. a little bit, but... All right. And again, Roka. Does he get it? He pop flashes, sees one. Mainline hugging the wall. He's just shoulder peeking and playing with him. Roka knows. Takes down Silent. Jeez. Brute forcing his way out long as he goes. He's, he's looking like the king of a uh, long, like we said. 
And that's just the A side completely exposed. On this save, Paradox did go for a bit of a bit of a stack in the mid doors looking towards Cat, and there is nobody looking to go over there. And then the taps. Look at this. There's been taps all game. Desi takes down Justin and B and this and round this, is done. This, this stack at doors in mid, this NOA stack, hasn't moved this entire round. They're still here trying to catch somebody, and eventually they're gonna get flanked off, so at some point, Roka's gonna spot it. He gets the kill anyways. He does get taken out by Ellie, but. Not really too much for it, so nice shots by Roka that round. And a pretty good anti-eco, only losing one. Yeah, that's a very, very good anti-eco. But now we got the big green, Ellie's picking it up, he's gonna throw it over to uh, Silent. And I believe Silent has a good spawn, so he'll be he'll be trying to rush it out, possibly the long once again to deal with Roka, but... I gotta say, Roka's pop flashes have been superb when he tries to entry on in towards long. That's one big thing about him picking up kills. There we go. This is going to be the eighth round. Silent. He tries to peek out long, gets smoked off. He's jumping, checking. Roka's spamming a little bit. He's going to meet the shot there of the AWP. And now pop flashing his way in. Storm wants to push through the smoke. He's going to catch two CTs on the back. Can he get both of them, though? No. Justin's able to trade it back out. And now we're in a three on four. Yeah, that was actually really clever. He knew one got to pit, but he decided to go through the smoke looking towards A anyways to try and grab him when they were looking. He does pick up one, like you said. Not able to get the second one. Now it's going to be all to their catwalk player, Desi. He's coming out trying to find this pick. It is an opera. He's going to nade the bomb site, but he's just trying to find a killer, find a rotation to isolate a player over and be that Strebber. He is completely oh, alone. Oh, Desi. Oh, tries to sneak out mid. Just makes too much noise. And now Robert holding this car. We got Rush walking in with Slug. Rush is gonna, uh, Robert's going to take down one, but Slug cleans it up and going to try to at least get the bomb plan here. He's going to go for the smoke on the cross. He tries to make it through the blind fire. Ellie, if only he could see what we see. Put Slug down to 20, and Slug's gonna at least try to get the plant money for his team. Yeah, and he is gonna do it, so there's a victory there, but now he's gotta come up with something really magical if he wants to win this round. Oh, full blind. up, yeah. Yep, so he's just gonna get sprayed down. Well, there you have it. So Paradox will take that 8th round. That was... Good holding, I gotta say, no no over rotations from uh, Paradox there. Robert just biting the bullet and just sitting at car. Works out and kinda saves the round a little bit. Well, here's something that Elevate might be suffering from without XP3, without, you know, their typical in-game leader, is pretty much every round Paradox has had three players over towards long, and you can really punish that if you see teams doing it round after round with a fast mid B split or a fast play, you know, towards mid or catwalk. And, they, I mean, Elevate has such a lean, such a, they, they really, really want to find an opening pick at long. Pretty much every round they're sending whoever has the best spawn over to it. Um, and if they notice that there's continuous... Nice this flick! Round, they, Listen around, they switch things up, it's a 2-1-2, two -two and Silent gets that pick. That was, that was some really good timing, too. That smoke had not dispersed yet. Roka out long, finds another headshot, but not gonna get both this time. He's been getting double kills left, right, and center, but that time, Justin responds perfectly, and... Alright, 3-on-4, another situation is like last round. This time, though, the bomb hasn't been inched up B, so left back mid, and... Rush, look at that. He's taking Roka's shoes. He's gonna be the prince of long, I guess, right behind Roka. But that one jump from Desi off Cat, trying to be sneaky in CT, but Ellie reads the position. And now we're in a two on three. Yeah, Ellie's actually very lucky. Desi missed that shot. That was a great play once the opera had to reload that had pulled the action rifle. So many shots between it, so. Nice. Uh, there's Rush taking out the opera. Another beautiful shot. So he's gonna cross the bomb. Hopefully, he's getting sprayed at. Doesn't take any tags. And both counter terrorists now, they're in a tough retake situation. No no progress being made up Cat quite yet, but it does look like Strebber's gonna go there while his teammate comes up the ramp from CT spawn. So, here we go. Rush gets the bomb plan up. They get the flashes on Cat. There's that man still holding the wall. That's gonna be actually Robert to take him down. We're in a one-on-one. -on -one. Flash comes up. Robert gets the shot before the flash goes off. Woo! Predictable positions, and they've played these maps so many times and just easy tap for him. So he gets the defuse and keeps Paradox in it. Four to five in the rounds. Saving it off, too. Gonna get that to Silent, and that was, that was <laughs> very close. <laughs> yeah, Rush mistiming that flashbang a little bit, but a nice retake from Paradox. Completely blinding Storm on Catwalk, so fantastic done. Fantastic job done by them. Oh, man. So we do have, you know, the economy still being a little shambles for Paradox, but they're kind of piecing around together. Elevate full AKs, nothing crazy. Yeah, Elevate hasn't had to save yet this nope. entire half. So they've been doing a really good job managing their economy. And it all came from, I mean, they built such a huge lead. I think they only they only lost one player in the in the two save rounds they had after winning Pistol. So a lot of players who didn't have to rebuy their guns at all. All right, so Silent's going to give up a position. Going to hang out towards ramp, look towards Cat, and it's, All right, just going for the noise up mid. Kind of strat. They can rotate to either way. Just trying to find another pick. And Justin's been holding off 
you know, CT pretty well just listening for any kind of mid kind of play. He gets the crossfire too with Ellie, but uh, hasn't been able to do too much with it just yet. They've been actually inching their way out. The nine man actually pushed up, and Desi. Yeah, he's got. He's only got about ten seconds left before that smoke clears, and Roka gets a pick over towards long. That's nice. Pop flash comes in. Desi's got to win this battle. He does. He takes off the head of Justin, and they're gonna retreat back into mid and readjust their angle. Mm, Ellie's gonna be able to get through the crack just a little bit. Light one up. There's two members currently in the red for the side of Elevate, and then Rush just rushes up again. Takes up Cat, gets the position. Desi in the flank, just waiting and lurking in that lower tunnel. Takes down Ellie, and now uh, Strebor is just left by his lonesome with an M4 in hand. He's got the defusal kit. And everybody's actually kind of really spread out here from the Elevate side, but he can't deal with two men, and Strebber goes down. Yeah, and another save round here for, for Paradox, so Elevate doing a very good job there. Uh, finally breaking the economy. Even after two wins, they break it, so... Elevate's going to have a little bit of a cushion to work with, an opportunity to build up this lead. But sitting very nicely at 6-4 and four right now. Gotta say, though, you know, people would not think that... Paradox would pick up too many rounds seeing us the newcomers, but they're definitely putting up a huge fight and I'm excited to actually Listen, see their aggressive people T side. Got, people got super hyped on them after beating uh, Cloud9 last night, so I think there's a lot of people uh, thinking Paradox is going to uh, take this one. And there's Roka over towards Long, getting the first one and falling back very, very quickly as he's getting chased out. He's got three counter terrorists there to, to go against. He takes out Mainline. Two more still, and Rush has got to be careful. Ellie, he hears them pushing on out. Rush is going to check all of his spots and... Yeah, unfortunately, with if he had an M4 in that situation, that would have been completely different, but 2 on 4, just still trying to inflict some kind of economic damage, and the 2-man here in Justin wants to find Desi. He's going to push out, oh, doesn't look correctly, and he just gets shot in the yeah, back of the head. Yeah, Desi's guarding that gun. Would have been pretty nice if he could establish it. Look, he's shooting the gun. He's just throwing it over the wall. Why not? And uh, Strebor on Cat. Last minute standing. The bomb should blow, and uh, maybe he'll even die. Who knows? So 7 to 11, or uh, 7 to 11, <laughs> this, it'll be Elevate picking up their 7th round. 7 to 11. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm in the future Elevate's right now. Today? Yeah, actually, I like I like the Slurpees, but, alright. Big gulps, huh? Big gulps, 99 cents. Well, where I'm from, they are 99 cents, but. Alright, back onto another Eco Paradox. They'll pick up the Deagles, a little, little bit of pistol action there, and... I mean, this should be a quick 8-4 for Elevate, and strong TT uh, T side start. It is, and it's going to have to be a double save, so you're going to see Paradox next round with that uh, with that AWP. Really thinking that that's going to help them a little bit find some opening picks, because it's been... I mean, even when they get opening picks, Elevate has been responding very, very well. Desi, Rush, and Roke have all had rounds where they respond and equalize. So Justin here with this Deagle on Cat. Can't find anything towards lower tunnel. They push up, they get Ellie, Desi's going to find main line, and... Alright, 3 on 5, 3 on 4 now, actually. It's a little bit of work coming in from the pistols, but... It's, it's not ever going to be enough damage, but smoke's come out. Nate, actually, the uh, bomb has been spotted, and there you go. Strubber goes down, too. Last bit in A-Sight. Roka's going to hunt him down. He's out long the entire time. They let Roka do his own thing, and there you go. So this is a very important round to kind of stop Elevate's momentum if they can uh, take this from the Paradox side. Yeah, this is a, this is absolutely huge for Paradox right here. This is going to be the difference between, you know, a good half and, and kind of like, oh, man, oh, we blew it a little bit. Look at Rush, by the way. We haven't brought up his score line. We've said his name a lot, but he's 17 and 4 at the moment. So he's he's been absolutely beast mode for him. Yeah, he's been he's going crazy. And they send the three members out long once again. They're really looking to deal with Roka's uh, kind of aggressive style, but he's nowhere near it right now. Yeah, and what what a play, what a call by Elevate. They've been going long at the beginning of virtually every round, always trying to find that kill, even on Ecos. And this round, they don't put anyone even really near long, at least into that cave. So. Nothing comes Whoa. from a little bit of that stack a little bit. The flash plays come out, Roka full blinded though, just comes back in and they don't get anybody with that, even with both those flashes hitting just about perfectly. So now we got the bomb yeah. just rushing B. And more importantly as well, I mean, those are great, those are fantastic kills holding off that rush, but Silent with the AWP was the rotator over towards mid and B and he gets stuck behind a smoke, so even if those two players go down, he, he can't really make any kind of a play through the smoke to, to, to try and equalize or to try and get at least one kill to give his team a shot at a retake, so they're just going to flat out have to save. Oh boy, so they're going to look for the saves, keep the M4s, keep the ops, or keep the op, but uh, they're going to be looking to push out long it seems. They, they want to close this one out, they're wall banging a little bit, trying to look for Justin, they end up hitting him a little tad, and then the shot, the off from Solid picks up Roka, can he respond to the cat push, that's the question. Oh, Elevate, how do they execute this right now? They got the crossfire with Justin in mainline. Mainline falls, Silence is dead. 
Can Justin be the sole survivor? There's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one at long. Desi's pushing up the smoke. The op. Justin tries to save it. Will he get shot in the back? Will he respond? No. He's gonna choose to just sit back behind the dumpster and at least saves the AWP for silent. Yeah, smart to get that hop and get away. Risky, but but they, they needed that gun, and now they're going to do a buy behind it, and really the power of, of this buy is going to be that AWP. Silent's got to find a way to get it, to get an initial kill here for his squad. He's got to find some way to do it. And back to the, the long plays, the long shenanigans for Roka again. He's just going to lurk up this time, though. And Paradox not going to have any of it. They force bought up, doing what they can to try to take a round. Mainline with a fast cap position, just running straight up. Rush, will you peek this corner? Oh, this is such a dangerous spot. And Mainline actually gets the kill. He's looking for some more, but it's going to be traded out. And Desi here in lower tunnel. Silent, aggressive on Cat, finds the op on a storm. But Desi, just look at this. The trade's back and forth. But still, no one taking a clear advantage until Desi breaks out the mid doors. He gets himself a double. And then the long push. Roka, Justin is waiting. So patient. Yeah, and that nade's gonna give away Slug's positioning, so that, it finally breaks the, the trades back and forth. Slug does spot one window and not able to take him down. That's the kill he's looking for right there. He finds the angle, but he can't land the shot. He's down to three as well, so this is gonna be a very, very tough round for him to win. Nowhere to go, really. They know exactly where he's at. Well, he'll be trying to make his way into B, it seems. 40 seconds of the clock, the economy, I know if we just look at it a little bit, it's still perfectly fine for Elevate. And uh, still have yet to see them go on to an eco round. Will he cover his car position, though, is the question. He's got to check everything in the site. Well, it doesn't even matter if he checks everything. He's got 3 HP, so he's got to not only check everything, but, get the but he's, got to, yeah, he's got to get, get a kill with his first bullet. Oh, he's going to look. He's inching his way up. And no, can't do it. So Strebar will save that round, and we're looking at a potential 6-9 or a 10-5. Uh, you know, Paradox obviously wants to make it to 6-9 and then just come out swinging on their T side. So we'll see them full buy up again and do what they can at least. It's just you know from us now, just M4 it up, all right. But this is this is what you expect from Elevate. Take a strong lead and I mean going out of CT side, they can play just as well, just leaving Roka long. And, uh, we'll see. He's gonna pop flash once again, just pulling it back to the first few rounds. Flash full blinding mainline. He couldn't do a thing to get into pit and like just I don't know how you defeat Roka right now, but Silent finds two. Actually taking down Desi and Roka. There, that's the, that's the response you need. Just put three. <laughs> that's all you need to do. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, Elevate just keeps the pressure up there. They, they've been doing a good job of stagger. Actually, look at this Strabber coming in from window. He sprays down three. What a nice job from him. Gives his team six rounds in the half. Oop. All right, so, gotta just reconnect on in there real quick. Boom. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that was... Elevate did a really nice job of, of adjusting and finding ways to win rounds because Paradox, for the most part, on gun rounds, actually did a did a really good job of shutting down Roka at long. You know, that's that's something like, to, and you could see Elevate was coming back to it round after round after round. They really wanted to establish long control and scare him away from it, but Paradox took it away from him, and that and that's kind of why they had they got those six rounds. So a very good half put together for him, and now it's onto the CT side. Uh, the CT side being able to play the defensive side, you know, Dust 2 just goes 50 50 either way, and this is not too bad for a T start. You know, you can take the nine rounds, you're still gonna be feeling pretty good. And everything's gonna restart, so we'll head into that pistol. This is gonna be the second half of Dust 2. We got two cash maps after this, and then another Dust 2, and I mean, we got four games of wonderful uh, professional North American talent tonight. So I'm Egedge, and here's Moses, and this is the ESL ESCA Pro League. And uh, this pistol rounds. It's going to be very indicative of the momentum. If Elevate can keep it from their T side, or if Paradox can kind of start to run away with it and tie it up and bring it to their own gun round. And Desi going for a silent S tactic, pushing through the smoke in mid and actually getting to lower. So if you can find anybody going up cat, that'd be a huge kill for the team. He hears him. He yeah. hears him. So they'll make that call, actually. So five man in a rush is going to actually be looking towards cat while they have a lurker waiting out long. But Roka finds the first frag, but Strebo responds. Look at these shots coming out. A bit, a bit of a trade, Slug finds one, just back and forth, now a three on three, an aggressive play from Roka just doesn't work out, out long, Slug forced to retreat out the corner, they see the last man up there in Storm, on Cat, and if they can deal with the long guy, they just gotta sit in sight, there you go, it's now a three on one, Storm, is he crazy, can he do this, he's gonna push up, taking this ramp position, Strebo's gonna be his first opponent, shoots him down, can he find another, they're just rotating Justin around, seeing how so he's so low, Sound's gonna peek out, he gets the headshot, and Paradox, that was close. Everybody was so low.
Yeah, they almost lined up for him too. But the, the, the real problem that was that was nice by Paradox to, to win a lot of those gun battles. They were at a disadvantage in so many different ways with that with that long stack from Elevate, and also Desi on that fast flank uh, with the kill. You know, with the uh, you know ba uh, kill on someone who wasn't even looking his way and uh, loses that gun battle, and there goes that advantage he gained. So uh, nice job by Paradox players to win those fights. And nice job indeed. We'll see full 5-7 armor by just coming out. Some na two nades there. Uh, and so, uh, where are those nades actually playing? They're uh, sitting towards B. So they have a smoke for tunnel, if anything, but we'll see. The one deke from Roka is going to be interesting if you can actually get it. And a nice flash comes in. Rush pushing through. Gets Ellie down. And then they'll respond with their own nades. But it seems that the gun was actually picked up. I don't know if they got that. The smoke up mid, though. They're going to commit towards this A play. Nobody out long to lurk. Justin, with this MP7, finds the first frag. Takes down Slug. And this A site is open. That smoke actually bouncing off a teammate, so a little bit of miscommunication there. And then the CT smoke's gonna hold them off. There's also a flank coming in from Roka right now, the 5-7, but the scout shot from Silent gets the kill. Roka with the one deeks, does he have them? He's trying to peek out, gets one, looking for a second. No, can't find it. And now it's a three on three situation, and Elevate did quite a bit of damage. Yeah, and they're still in this as well. Three on three, and Paradox is boxed up on the catwalk. Desi's a little bit scared to get into that A bomb site, you know, for good reason, because they're about to lurk out of it. No, here we go, Desi, holding from CT. Can he make the 5-7 magic come true? He's gonna peek up, interesting, seeing the heads does end up just destroying Justin there. And he's gonna keep looking, getting a little too frisky, and Silent actually gonna respond with the scout, but on the flank, Storm has a Galil. Can they do it? Roka from long, this is his position. Gets the 1D! Oh, Roka! Downtown! He's, he's spinning he's, around. His deagle is, is so good. He, he did this against Cloud9 last season. He had a pretty ridiculous deagle clutch from long A like that. So <laughs> nicely done by him. And uh, you, you could see the, the teamwork that Elevate that Elevate employed there with that initial pop flash on a catwalk. And, and they, they did a very good job in that three on three of really juggling the aggression of the remaining Paradox players. And uh, just, to, just to put the exclamation point onto it is Roka from long from, from downtown. Yeah, that was, that was so good. Well. Now we're seeing ourselves Paradox in the reverse situation now with their own Tech 9s though. So, uh, smoked up mid, not gonna be much for them to do. But if they can clutch this one out, I'd be very impressed. And, uh, Desi just taking this mid position, not going aggressive anymore. Just listen for the steps, that's all they want to do. And, do they have the smoke actually for the B? Yeah, they're gonna flash out, here we go. Can they deal with the one holding ramp though, is the question. Actually a team kill comes in from Silent, but it seems that Desi's done the damage. This round should be all but done with a good spray from Roka, and there you go. And uh, nice crossfire, Desi and Roka holding that mid's push. Yeah, it scared me for a second, because Desi was sliding away while Storm was getting up close, but they handled it very well. Storm did a lot of damage and was allowed Desi to spray some down through it, so nice job by them. And that was a buy from Paradox, a second round buy, so they're going to be on a full eco round here. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're just picking up one flashbang, and, and this... Well, you know, what flashbang either is either a B rush or they're going to use a pop flash for middle. And they have the spawns for a B rush, so that very well could be what it is. And they got to get through... The duo, Storm and Roka this time, holding it off. They also have a lower tunnel push from Desi, so he could get some serious information and kills if he actually looks this aggressive. Is, this is something that, that, that needs to be criticized because it's that you know it's an eco round. Don't push lower, don't potentially give up a cult, but here comes the B hit, they don't even go towards him. Oh. It's just gonna be Storm and Roka cleaning things up, but yeah, that, that's something that I've seen Desi do in the past on, on anti-eco rounds, and, and he's lost that cult before, and, and you know, it, it can deal so much damage, you know, if not lose you the round, so... He's got to be very, very careful making plays like that because it's not like he's just pushing up to Xbox where he can fall back. He's kind of stuck in those lower tunnels when he does that. Mm hmm. It's a risky position, but it works out either way. And now we have the buy round coming in from Paradox and full AKs. Let's see how they want to play this. They're actually just going straight up mid, and there is no AWP picked up from Elevate, so. Just gonna rely on the rifles for now. Rush though, gets a pop flash out. He's able to get himself a double. Can he get the triple? They line up, but he doesn't have enough bullets. And another team kill comes in as Justin takes down Strebor. Oh no, and now all up to, up to Ellie. He can't do too much there, and he just gets outmanned. Yeah, that was a great mid stack. A three person, one stairs, one, one close cat, and one in mid, and, and they just run into a blender from different angles. So uh, Paradox going a little bit too quickly up catwalk there and get punished. Nice setup from Elevate. Very nice. And now we're seeing Paradox kind of slip away from the lead, or slip away from potentially being able to come back. Things aren't lining up, their strats just are being responded to perfectly from Elevate, and that's just the veteran experience, honestly, to, to say the least. Of uh, Elevate coming into effect, so. Well, also, I don't think, I don't think Elevate's, aside from second round of this half, I don't think they've had to save the entire match. Nope. Which is very impressive, especially for, you know, giving up six rounds in the first half, not having to save once. 
It's nicely done by them. So we got ourselves Desi. Getting aggressive, lying on a push from Ellie and just taking him out. And I mean, they're, they're inching their way up Cat with the bomb. I believe the step should be heard, and uh, the five minute rush is going to hold it out. Desi still holding this position, mid position, though. He's going to find himself just kills flying into him. Easy headshots, easy life, and last two are up there on Cat. So he actually goes for their jumping M4, and when he lands, he takes on mainline, which was pretty awkward. But uh, Justin stopping Desi's ace, and I mean, Paradox, this one's kind of slipping away now. I. Not sure what else they can do to put it get together. The holds from Elevate just lining up too well. All right, Desi with a four kill though. So that, that uh, look at these score lines. Soroka's at 22 and 11. Rush at 20 and 10. Desi 18 and 11. So the, those three just uh, those three strong fraggers they have on that side just just going a little bit nuts right now, having a field day. And this is an important round. This is now now Paradox has this ADVP in silent. Silent hand again, and he couldn't really get it going on the CT side. So, on this T side, initially he's going to go for this mid pick, but it'll, they've been running so many fast strats. If they keep doing that now, it's not going to give them time to really work that up. And actually, Elevate's going to walk right into mainline. They're doing this upper B push. Mainline's got the angle. He takes out Rush with a nice headshot. There goes Roka as well. But there's already two players from Elevate already rotated over towards B, and this might catch him off guard. You got a pop flash on mid too, but Desi, he's going to end up falling after taking on mainline. So, this bomb plant should be coming in. It's all up to Storm and Slug, and the standing in Slug, he's not fragging as hard as the rest of the teammates, but he's still fighting with them, but uh, they're going to go for this play. Plant comes out, they spot the man out window, Storm is kind of stuck alone here, gets headshotted by Ellie, and now Slug pushes in, and he just goes down to Justin. So, okay, that's definitely a way to start building some traction, but I'm, I'm not sure if it's enough yet. There's still plenty of money on Elevate's side, Roka with 14k, he's been sitting on a bit of a piggy bank himself. Well, the important thing is that they won that with with really only losing you know one player, so that they can build the bank up a little bit. So even if you know, as long as they keep continue, they they have to win you know three three rounds here before before they let Elevate get to fifteen if that happens. But you know, even if they lose a lot of players, they're still going to be have a pretty strong buys behind the deaths. And Silent's still trying to look for an aggressive mid pick, just can't get it, can't find them in the cross. They always smoke it, and he's just left, kind of guessing at a timing peak. But fourteen to eight, Elevate looking to close this one out, and on CT side on Dust two. Well, Paradox to get a little bit closer. We'll see. We'll see if they can piece together some more rounds and make this look good. They had that one-one against Cloud Nine yesterday in Sevo, so uh, definitely trying to make some waves. So Silent still holding Cat, looking to that, you know, kind of kind of ramp to B position. But it seems that they want to execute out here towards A. Smoke's prepped, Flash is ready, and the man lurking out long is going to be uh, Stribor, and he'll have to get through Rush. This is a this is a pretty nice setup from Elevate though. They have two in mid and they're being very mobile. Desi and Storm playing mid and rotating back to their respective bomb sites. But Desi's going to get mollied off. That's going to allow him to start creeping out behind these smokes on Catwalk. There's nice. the Alpha jumping over the smoke. A oh, nice man. shot on a slug. So the A bomb site's open. Rush is still alive at long. He's going to smoke things off and he's just going to hold this for his team. But Paradox still hasn't advanced into the bomb site quite yet. They're letting this player lurk over behind the quad boxes. That's Justin. They're waiting for the smoke to clear to clear that out. And now Desi gets brought down on a on a on a, on a flank on a uh, on a rotation over towards A. Yeah, that was interesting. Silent fighting the uh, you know lineup with a shot. They're just jumping over the smoke and Rush not able to hold this position at long. So he falls to uh, Strebor. And do we see the CTs try to save here? Roka peeking up, gonna fall the main line on Cat and. Yeah, it's all off to Storm to kind of save this one out. He finds one kill onto Ellie, but gonna get shot in the back, and... Alright, Paradox put two together now, and... They hit the double digits. Elevate have to be a little bit worried. Yeah, but rook has got 10k. Uh, he can't buy everybody. Right, but next round, they'll be able to buy it, and mm -hmm. that's a really solid bank to go moving forward. The real question is, if, if the Elevate ever feels like they need to get an AWP in their hands, who's going to pick it up? Because XP3 True. is missing, so if they feel like that's the solution to any problem they may be having, you know, where who's who's going to step up for him? I don't know. Maybe... I would feel like Rush wouldn't be too bad, but... Alright, Desi, he's in the smoke, holding that left side, maybe going to try to catch somebody off guard. And, uh, the smoke's going to fade in a couple seconds. The silent's going to be ready to flick, if anything, and... Mainline holding this pole position once again. Looking to see if we will catch Rush off guard. And, oh, Ellie, his position's given up. He takes down Justin, so that's going to be a little frustrating, but they know that they're on the eco, and Paradox still have a very good chance of this round. And Elevate, too, if they can get those surprise factor kills, you know, hurt the economy a bit for Paradox. We'll see. Silence inching up Cat, too. He's, he's been pretty good at this position so far. Yeah, they're taking this very, very cautiously at the moment. Yeah, you don't want to throw something away like this. And then, and then you put on match point, it's like a... So Roka's Deagle not working out, he's gonna pop flash a bit as they push on mid, Silent gets full blinded, mainline the only one ready to fight. They're gonna smoke off CT and Storm, 
Does he pull a skadoodle here? He's gonna push through this. He's got the 5 7. He's actually not pushing. Never mind. He's gonna jump up on the box. He misses the spot like two times. He can't get it in. They're gonna be able to push up here. But Roka on the 1D. Strebor finds Roka though. Ellie holding his position here. He's gonna flick it across. Can he get the double? He's trying to. He actually ends up whiffing very hard. And Ellie goes down and out to one on two. Strebor left all alone. He's gonna push out window. He takes that one. They wanted this gun so desperately. From the elevate side, that nade bouncing off to so much damage to Slug. And Strebor, he's gonna be able to clutch it out. 14 to 11. It's gonna be your score. Actually, 14 to 10, excuse me. 10. Yeah, they're, they're very fortunate to win it. That was a nice peek out window to take out Storm and turn it into a one on one very quickly. That was that was scary. That was very scary for Paradox right there. Yeah, um, definitely. And even Roka with 14 HP, that Deagle comes into play again. He gets a 1D because he tries to come through window. No op pick uh, down mid. Just kind of spotting to see who how, with the number that's crossing. And once again, Paradox is really. They found success now that they've slowed things down. They had a couple very fast, you know, rounds towards middle, towards Catwalk, where they just got punished. And now they've slowed things down just a little bit, and it's really worked out for them. Do they hear him actually come up with Cat? He's behind the smoke right now, jumping on the box, and I believe they heard him just a little bit. So Justin able to line it up and take him down through the smoke. So they're going to keep that Cat position going. Roker going to be going up towards mid. Is it going to flash, I believe? Yep. He actually turns around and looks into it, so he's full blind for a little bit, and they're still in this cap position. They feel like they can take control of this every time, and I like what they did before. They just lined up all these smokes and walked straight across the long of the wall, and they were able to take the site last time with that, and they're going to go for it again. Elevate, it's going to be all to Slug, holding this goose position, and then the outlong rush is looking for the lurker once again. So flashes in response. Mm -hmm. And this is that same strategy they did a while ago where they're just going to let Justin quietly walk up behind the smokes to these boxes. And with this wall of smokes that they have, oh, look at this gap. That's actually a pretty uh, pretty interesting gap that Justin could have tried to play with if uh, it didn't disappear on him. But Slug's got to know with that wall of smoke that someone was trying to do something a little bit clever. And Rush actually gives up his position at long, so that puts the seven man in a spot to rush up in Strebor. But Storm finds one. Justin responds with a goose kill. He's looking for the man who was playing towards Car, and that's Storm. Uh, that's Rush, excuse me, but... That takes him out, and we're looking at a 14-11. Uh, I believe Elevate are going to go for this retake attempt. Four on three. Justin on a quad. Can he get an ace? He actually eats the nade to the face, putting him down to two health. He wants the ace. He can see it in his eyes, but might not be able to get that one. Nade comes in, but not enough for the kill, and Silent will be able to end that round, and that was a near flawless round for them. Yeah, now, now this is starting to get a little bit scary for Elevate. And it's it's uh, it's coming from this catwalk. They've they've had a couple rounds where they've been able to shut that down with that you know the three man stack that they had, but they need to find some way to have success there. And just Desi playing around the corner of the smoke isn't really going to cut it at the moment because Paradox is being very very efficient at taking it. Yeah, Paradox playing it on a whole new level on their T side. I was excited to see how they could be aggressive. And still silent, being calm and persistent with his mid peaks. Uh, we got nades and everything covering off the positions. Gonna be able to smoke the cross and silent still looking for somebody to push him mid. He's just perched, ready. But he doesn't get anything to bite the bait, so. They smoke off the cross. Slug is there. Roka has his deke once again, looking through this little bit of a gap. Justin finds a kill on the slug. <laughs> Ellie's gonna one tap Desi. And rush on cat can't do anything. So this should be a quick 14-12. And elevate, they're two rounds away from being tied up. Yeah, Taroka's gonna get one. Now he has an AK. If he can try and save it. No way. Yeah, there was no way he was gonna get a CT there. And uh, minimize casualties, 14 to 12, Paradox. Mounting that minor comeback. Okay, so what's the response now? So so what is what does Elevate decide to do? Because they've gotta find something Fight to shut down walk. <laughs> well there, there's a way. I mean, you could do it with an AWP. If you yeah. get someone, do a little bit of boost, get that opening pick, and there Storm picks it up and, and he's I hope he drops that. Because I have seen Storms out first hand. <laughs> he's gonna try. Oh, oh boy. no. I'm gonna actually follow him and see what happens. So he's looking up mid. Can't find the flick onto the man in Suicide and Silent. And uh, he'll just take the cat position. Like you said, you need to have... <laughs> this, uh... is, this is so interesting to me. <laughs> Can he get it? I mean, there's that man over towards the, the wall, hugging the barrels. Ooh. Jumps across. Doesn't go for the shot. Doesn't want to give up his position, but he gets flashed out and... Will he be able to actually hold mid if he gets pushed up? That's the real question. Are you confident in it, Moses? Do you think he could do it? Mm, he might be able to get one. He's not okay. going to do much more than that if he's got pressure on him. But he's got Desi there to bail him out. And now look, hey, they're going up catwalk again. And Desi's rotated over towards mid because they, they feel like that's where the attack's going to come. So they're not reading the situation. Uh, I mean, they're just reading it a little bit wrong. 
So a lot is going to be put on to Slug here, who's over at the uh, who's at the ramp over at A. It's going to molly off Catwalk to give himself some time, but Desi's finally going to rotate over to bail him out. And the Terrace Paradox on Catwalk hears that movement, so they know exactly where Desi is at the moment. He's going to get a solid nade up there. That could do quite a bit of They're damage. They're going to do that Oop. same wall of smoke again that they've been doing. I mean, why not? Just rinse and repeat the process until Elevate figure out a way to deal with it. And they're gonna but they're actually going to use it. They're going to get it in position, and he's going to cut off rotations. They're going to drop into a mid-B split, so this is going to be an issue. Desi's got to do some work Justin. over the smoke. Oh, he was right next to Slug in the site. Midland's going to push up. Roka and Storm do pick up a quick trade from CT. Justin's going to jump down. This is the position he wanted. Takes the one down on boost. He saves the day there, but Storm with this off. Takes down one from Platt. We're in a 2-1-2. Two -two. No plant out there just yet. They're kind of giving it up. Rush gets the flag on Justin, then Storm holds the B-bomb site. Doesn't need to use the AK, not the AK, the AWP, but picks out the P2K and... All right. <laughs> all right, Storm he gets one. kills. I take everything back. <laughs> So not too bad. That yeah. was that was really nicely done by Elevate because there were so many things that could have that could have ruined them that could have gone wrong. That that Justin position behind that wall of smoke falling into that mid B split. It's a pretty clever play that could have panned out very very well for him. So Silent's gonna peek again. Actually gets the wall bang on a storm. So he's put down a 25. Uh, trying to get aggressive and you know Silent's feeling it. They could still bring this oh, to a tie. Oh my lord, that all. He eats it yep. down to four. So now they're just going to put him at the back of Plat with his AWP where it's, it's pretty much a headshot only spot and just let him op it because that's really all he has left to do. He can't be very aggressive and very peaky with his AWP with four HP. Oh, so scary. So scary to try to op against Silent right now. We've seen Storm play Counter-Strike for like 13 years and I, I'm not sure how often we get to see him op, so this is just a treat. <laughs> I mean, he's not doing much sitting back Plat looking through his tunnel. That's about it. <laughs> it's not the point. He's got it in his hands. And there goes Roka. Justin gets that pick through the crack in the doors. Nicely done by him. Hmm. Alright, so... They're up a cat again. Looking for the line of smokes, possibly. Gonna get the line of scrimmage going. And we'll see how they execute this. Still with the seven man lurking out long. And Slug actually pushed up aggressively this time. He's not playing the A ramp spot. They swapped it up with Desi. And here we go. Slug. <laughs> Strepper's waiting for a sound. They're both waiting to see who's gonna bite the bullet first. Using the pressure of his team, though, he's going to keep holding long. And Silent leading the charge. The nades come out. They smoke the site. They hear Rush rotating. Strubber gets the kill on the slug. They're going to push up. Rush going big with Desi. The off shots come in, but they're just trading back and forth. Storm still at B with four health. Desi holds this A bomb sight ends. Now Strubber from long. Is this it? Is this lights out for Paradox? They were doing so well until that point. This would be a big clutch. He's already gotten one so far. Flash comes in. Four health on Storm. Holding Cat. Gonna push on the Desi. Strebworth goes down and Desi clutches it. So 16-12 is gonna be your final score for that.